Radio. Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffin Radio. I am Heartthrob Rob, and today we are talking about Atlanta Season 4, Episode 3, Born to Die. One of the better, obviously easily the best episode of the season so far, and probably the best episode we've had in quite a while, you know? Some of the episodes on Season 3 were hit or miss for me, but this one, really good, because it's got, like, current events mixed with social commentary that they always throw in. It's the comedy and the drama that Atlanta, they found a perfect mix on this episode. But uh, the episode starts off pretty quickly with Paperboy uh, finishing a show, and somebody's Jewish father comes and asks him, hey, can you mentor my son, blah, 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 I'll give you a million dollars. Paperboy hops right on it, right? He gets to the studio, and these kids are just Post Malone, Lil Xan type of kids, you know? They can't rap at all, but they got money and studio time. So at, as Paperboy's there, he meets the only other black dude there, and it's some other rapper guy who, you know, used to be the guy, and he learns a thing or two from Paper, or excuse me, uh, he tells Paperboy, you know, come with me and I'll show you some things. And he goes to this meeting about this guy who's kind of like a, Fuck, I don't watch sports. He's like that football guy who had the fucking dyed mustache. He kind of looks like that. He's got a bunch of chains on. But he's like just telling them, you need to find a YWA, a young white avatar. People don't want to hear you rap, Paperboy. You're old. And he tells him, you know, you can never get bigger. He's like, you did stadiums, but fucking you sell out arenas. So he says, you need to get a young white avatar. And fucking that's how you sell. You know, you can make a million, but you can make 10 million this way. So fucking that episode is just kind of like got that stat quo... Lil Xan kind of thing that was going on earlier this year. <coughs> but uh, Paperboy finds the Yodel kid who fucking looks like that kid who yodeled in Walmart. It's totally that character. And P this episode, like, skips times, by the way. So as Paperboy, it shows Paperboy mentors this kid, you know, and the day of the Grammys, they're fucking nominated, and Paperboy's waiting for him at the Grammys, and Yodel kid, dead. And he's like, looks like that kid from Walmart who yodeled. That's who it's supposed to be, right? And he dies. He overdosed, you know, like a lot of those kids at this fucking drug rap white kid era, right? He overdoses and he wins the Grammy for Rap Artist of the Year and now he's a legend and it's just, it's kind of crazy. The social commentary is there. It's just a really good episode. Sorry, and this, the Earn subplot is him looking for D'Angelo. He's working at his new firm and he's trying to get D'Angelo on the team to sign him. It's not great. It's not the greatest subplot but the other half of the episode makes up for it um but really good episode i thought you know the, they found the mixture of comedy and drama they're able to walk that fine line it's the social commentary it's the stuff that's going on right now i thought it was a really good episode uh return to form here in atlanta season uh season four episode three uh born to die which was the name of yodel kids album kind of crazy but let me know what you guys think man we'll talk about it in the comments it uh, looks like next episode we get Gunna, but we'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe, and if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media at Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled a K, and that's all for today. Coffin Radio.